Good morning, everybody. Hello again. I'm back with another story for you all today. Uh, this one I picked was very popular, so I thought you'd like to hear it. It's Curious George Goes to the Pool. Yes, we spend a lot of time talking about going swimming at daycare. I know some of you have told me that you like to swim at the Canada Game Center or that you go to swimming lessons or you've had birthday parties at pools or that you like to go to the beach in the summer. So yeah, you're all very interested in swimming, it seems. And so you really like this book. And uh, why don't we read it together today? All right. Curious George Goes Swimming by Margaret and H.A. Ray. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, the man with the yellow hat was taking George to the town pool. It was a hot summer day and there were lots of people at the pool. Ooh, look at them all. George's friend found some empty chairs for them right there by the pool and put their things down. I'll go find you a floaty, George, the man said. Now be a good little monkey. George sat on the chair and looked around. He saw the little kids throwing beach balls in the shallow end and the big kids lining up at the diving board in the deep end. He couldn't wait to get in the water. Then he saw a tall white chair with an umbrella. Oh, what do you think that chair's for? Who sits in a chair like that? Oh, and there was even a red float hanging on it. The woman in the chair wasn't using it, so maybe George could borrow that one. Like only a monkey could, George swung up to the top and grabbed the float. Do you think he's going to be able to take that floaty? I don't know. Uh, no, he's not. As just as he was about to climb down, the woman in the chair turned around and said, Hey, you can't take that. That's the lifeguard float. Oh, so this is a special float that a lifeguard can use to help you if you're in trouble in the water. So it's not for playing. It's just for the lifeguard. Oh, she didn't sound happy at all. So George let go of the float, jumped back down to the ground, and he started to run. But are you supposed to run at the pool? No. Then he heard a loud whistle and a loud voice call, no running by the pool. Oh, and he slipped to a stop. Maybe that's why he shouldn't run on the pool, because look, he got startled and he fell right down. So instead, he walked very slowly back to his own chair. The man was there waiting for him. You have to be careful at the pool, George, the man said. The ground gets wet and slippery and you could fall. George nodded. So that's like what we said before. Uh, you can't run at the pool because it's so slippery. It's not a good idea. So the man handed George a small foam board. Here you go, George, he said. That's a kickboard. It will help you float. Why don't you go for a swim? Have you ever used a kickboard before? I've seen them before at the pools. They can be called kickboards or flutterboards. George thought it was a great idea to get in the pool. He took the kickboard and got in. Ah, the water was so cool and refreshing. Everywhere George looked, kids were having fun. Some were doing swim races across the pool, and others were playing tag. Even some people were doing handstands. Look, you can just see their little feet. Then George noticed one little girl holding on to the side of the pool. George waved for her to come swim with him, but she wouldn't leave. I wonder why she doesn't want to let go. We'll have to read and find out. George wanted to show her how much fun swimming was, so he kicked his legs, he paddled his arms, he even hopped up on the kickboard and rode on it like it was a surfboard. Surfing would be even more fun if there were waves. George was curious. Could he make waves with his kickboard? He pushed the board through the water and made a small wave. What fun! George did it again, and this time he pushed a little harder. That made an even bigger wave. George heard the girl giggle. She was still holding on to the side, but at least now she was smiling. George pushed the board out into the water as hard as he could. 
and he made a wave so big that, oh no, it splashed over the side of the pool. Tweet, tweet, he heard the loud lifeguard whistle again. No splashing. Oops, George didn't mean to make an, break another pool rule. He swam over to the side and sat down. Poor George, there's so many rules at the pool and he has to learn them all. Then he saw the little girl pulling herself over alongside the pool. Hi, I'm Lucy, she said. I know you didn't mean to splash. It was just an accident. You're a really good swimmer. George smiled. I wish I were a good swimmer like you, she says. My dad has been teaching me. He says I can do it, but I'm scared. I don't like to put my head underwater. Oh, so she is. That's why she's holding on to the side. She doesn't want... Uh, to swim, she's scared. George was curious. How could he show Lucy what fun a day at the pool could be? Oh, where is he going to go now? George had an idea. Ice cream was a special pool day treat. Oh, yes, it's an ice cream shop. The man had put some money for a treat in the bag. He pointed to the snack bar and then hurried over, but very carefully. In a few minutes, he was back with two ice cream pops, one for him and one for Lucy. Thank you, George, she smiled and climbed out of the water. They sat down at the side of the pool to eat their treats. Just as George was taking his first lick, that loud whistle blew again. No food by the pool, the lifeguard yelled. George was startled. Oh, that means he was scared. He was startled. And he dropped his ice cream in the pool. Oh, no. There it goes. Oh no, he it was sinking to the bottom. He had to get it before it made a huge mess. So George jumped right in after it. He swam down to the bottom of the pool, but where was his ice cream? When he came back for a breath, he saw Lucy. And there she was underwater getting his ice cream pop. Wow, look at Lucy go. In a moment, the lifeguard was there ready to rescue. Oh, see, look, now she's got that rescue float, the one that she uses to save people. But she didn't need to because Lucy popped back up. She handed George his ice cream, or what was left of it, and then wiped her hair out of her face. The lifeguard was about to get mad again and scold them, but then Lucy said, I did it, George. I swam underwater, and it's all thanks to you. That made even the lifeguard smile. So she wrapped them up in dry towels and helped clean up the ice cream mess. It was a great day at the pool. George had made a new friend and he got a new ice cream too. The end. Thanks for joining me for story time. I'll see you tomorrow with a new story, okay? Bye for now.